Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Revitalising Villa. This is episode number 40. And today we are back in league action. As you can see on the screen there, Swansea away. An opponent we haven't really played much on the series. It's a lower league, lower level, it's probably the better word, uh, Premier League opponent. So it'd be good really to get back to basics a little bit. But, but before we do that, we need to talk about the Champions League. So I have played the Dortmund game, the second Dortmund game, and it was a very, very good result. If I go back here, it should come up. There we go. A 1-0 win away at Dortmund. It was a brilliant result. And we'll talk about the game when we have a look at the schedule and see how we've got on since the last episode. But it does mean, with a game to spare, we have won the Champions League group. We have topped Group C. We are through to the first knockout stage. It's, yeah, amazing, really. We could finish the group unbeaten, but it does sort of offer up this this problem. The final group game, which I believe is against Monaco, uh, if I go further down here, yeah, there, Monaco, it's not really that interesting. We've got nothing to play for. We are going to finish top, no matter what. So, you're not going to see it. You have saw enough Champions League games on camera. We're getting back to the league, the bread and butter. So, that is why we will not be seeing that Monaco game, which is coming up in a couple of games. I'm going to skip it. But just to let you know, that is why. Let's get on to the results since then, though. Okay, so it was last time that we beat Inter by a goal to nil. Deadpool on the score sheet. Giovanni Le Celso being sent off, disappointingly. And we lost then. Yeah, we, we don't lose too often, but we did lose. Everton away, Everton are having a good season, and a former Villa man, of course, Idrissa Gay, popping up with 13 minutes to go, and yeah, it was, I don't know, it was disappointing, a lot of the players didn't really perform, it was disappointing, but we bounced back, and we got two very, very good results, a 1-0 win against Southampton at home was, was solid, very, very solid, Mikel Sago with the goal, Southampton had lots of shots in this game, but they didn't manage to get a goal, and we held on, very, very good result, in the whole scheme of things. And then, of course, that Dortmund game and Pietro Pellegrini gives us another 1-0 victory. We've had a lot of them so far this year. I mean, there's four in the last five games and then obviously one that lost. Not many goals in us at the moment, but we are pulling out results and that's very good to see. Hopefully that changes today, though, because Swansea, it's an opportunity for some goals, really. Swansea are sitting in 15th after a bit of a sloppy start to the season, really. They've lost a lot of games lately. Borja Baston seems to be scoring goals, though, so that's one to keep an eye on. They do still have, if I get to click on him, there we go, Paul Clement as manager. That's bizarre. That is absolutely bizarre when you really think about it. I mean, he's not even manager in real life anymore, yet he lasted, what, four years? Wow, this game is, is, is incredible. We are sitting in fourth, by the way. 12 games played, 7 wins, 3 draws and 2 losses. We are only uh, 5 points off the top. Man United, oh, Man United. We've we beat them, remember that. we beat them. We've got a game in hand, to be fair. So, we can make it 2 points with a win here. And this is the team that we'll play today then. It's a little bit different than what you're used to seeing and that's because of suspensions and fitness and whatnot. But, of course, Galini's in goal. Of course, he's Alessandro comes in at right back. Pascal Stenzel drops down to the bench. He's, he's, he's struggling a little bit with fitness. I mean, he could play, but at the same time, we have options, so let's use him. And that's why Chester is also in at centre-back. John Sutar drops to the bench too. Mawson keeps his place um, because we don't have many centre-backs, so you can't change them all. And for the first time in a long while, and for the first time this season for sure, Leighton Baines starts. Oh, I'm scared about that. I am very, very scared about that. Mitch, yeah, 92%. He could play. But at the same time, I'm going to give him a little bit of a rest. I may regret it. I may regret it. Jamie Hansen plays the register role because Santiago Caceres is on a 90% condition. And he's also suspended, I think, uh, if I remember rightly. That could be wrong. But anyway, he's still not fit. So, yeah, Hansen plays. Julian plays the advanced playmaker role. Could have been Lo Celso, but Fab Alex does have a suspension. That's for certain, this one. Um, and it was Lo Celso or Julian. Julian's... Been begging for some more game time. And when he's come in this season, he's done pretty well, actually. If we take a look at his stats this season, he's, he's, I mean, his stats on his technical stats are really good anyway. But five appearances, so he hasn't played much. But he's got a goal, he's got an assist, he's got a player of the match. Uh, yeah, and all in all, I think he deserves a little bit more of an opportunity. He didn't have many opportunities last year. 20 appearances, but a lot of them were off the bench. He's only scored one goal for the club, which is a bit of a worry. But, you know, that could all change today. On the right, then, will be Zinchenko. 
Uh, Patrick Roberts had the game in midweek against Dortmund and played quite well, but Zinchenko comes back in for this one. Pereira on the left, Rodrigo's on the, not even on the bench. I'm not playing him on the bench. No, apparently not. Um, uh, up front, Gonzalez, and well, alongside him. Introductions. Yeah. Call me Deadpool. You, you guys should be used to it by now. Yeah, Gonzalez and Deadpool up front. Sago and Pellegrini on the bench if we need them. But again, it's about rotating the squad. It's against the Swansea side. We should be beaten anyway. Let's see how this goes. We're going in control. We're going flexible. And yeah, a lot. I do have a lot of team instructions. Probably a little bit too much, but we're going to go with it. See how it goes. It's all about keeping hold of the ball and, and controlling the game. And if we can do that, Swansea shouldn't be a problem for us. The Swansea line up in a very, very unique formation. A 3-2-3-2. Three, two, three, two. Yeah, so yeah. I mean, it's wing backs. So I get that, but jeez that's a little bit defensive they have not many players you'd really recognize rocket mess is still there jordan are you to form a villa man of course we mentioned borja baston but these guys are all a bit new Lewis dunks there um so that's quite cool nadelchev nadelchev is actually a pretty good center back not on the game it's not nadelchev it's nadelchev so that's why he's not very good okay fair enough i had the wrong guy but yeah this is a game i really feel like we should be winning swansea have the highlight here unless we can win it back here's linetti borja Bouchabaston to Orajula, that's a weird name. He's got an injury as well, which isn't good for a wing back. Julian's gone right through the back of him here. That's. No. What is that? Two minutes and 18 seconds into the game. Ah, what? Mikhail Julian was given an opportunity here and he hasn't taken it, has he? It leaves us into a position, really, where I'm going to have to bring Deadpool off. I haven't got much choice. Oh, I'm sorry, Deadpool. <laughs> you had your big big introduction as well, but I, I ain't got much choice at all. We'll stick him as an attacking playmaker on support. We'll keep it similar to how it is, but just have the one up front. What was he thinking there, going straight through the back of him? Oh, Mikel. I wouldn't say the red card's given Swansea some motivation. They still haven't had a shot, so... There, there was the first shot. They have a corner from that, though. Rocky Meza headed away as far as Jordan Ayew. Brooks deflected. Oh, you dirty, cheaty, dirty thing. I don't know what even that means, but James Chester scored an own goal, apparently. That's... This feels like it's going to be one of those days, doesn't it? Okay. All right, then. Well, then, this is where the um, managerial ability will come out. We're down to 10 men. We're down a goal. We're struggling. So let's just go and attack him. That's, that's the only thing I've got to offer at the moment. Pellegrini's on the bench if we need him. I kind of wish I put Rodrigo there as well now, but we do have Patrick Roberts. You don't want to make too many changes. I, don't, I can't see Sego coming on this game. I guarantee you that much. But Pellegrini for Gonzalez is a swap that could happen in the second half. As we haven't had a highlight. Ay, ay, ay. I'm getting a bit aggressive here. Show some desire because things have been woeful. Woeful is the right word. Gonzalez or Zinchenko. They're, I mean, that they're, they're, they're struggling at the moment. Is Ribas. Good interception by Pereira. Really good stuff. And here's Zinchenko. Now, Zinchenko, what's he doing? Nothing. I was waiting for Gonzalez to make a run and find the pass. But obviously so was Zinchenko. It wasn't great. Zinchenko and Gonzalez are having shockers. I'm just going to bring Gonzalez straight off. Let's stick Pellegri on. Let's play him as a target man like he likes to play. I don't know if it's going to work, but I feel like it's the only option that we've got. Borja Basta, we haven't saw much of him. That was a dangerous thing to say. La Celso with a good interception. Elastondo now looks over the top towards Pellegri. Pellegri? Pellegri? I've got his name wrong now. Jeez. It's a Swansea highlight, this though. Brooks, are you? Mantelos. They've got an extra man in the midfield there, of course. Are you? Oh, you think he's. Yes, he hit the post. That was close. That was a little bit too close. Galini's goal kick then up towards Pellegri, who's going to need people around him getting involved. Lo Celso's trying to do that. Pereira, who will be coming inside quite a lot. Pereira again. That's a smart pass. Pellegri on the edge of the box. Inchenko with a chance. And Raya sends the shot flying wide. Better though. Much better. Pereira's corner. Headed away at the near post. Rocky Mez is looking to get there, but Zinchenko's onto it. Pereira with a bit of a chance to find another cross here. He doesn't. Hansen back to Pereira. Good football. Pereira's cross. Dunk heads, heads, clears away. And now I'm worried about what this highlight could be. I have a feeling that that might be the end of it. 
But we are still going here. Baines, back to Pereira. Is there a goal here? Pereira, low cross. Zinchenko at the back post. It wasn't a low cross. It was a high one. And Zinchenko took advantage of some poor goalkeeping, it looks like. Two score. He's had a bad game, but that will that will do the trick, won't it? What I'm going to do is bring Sago on. I said earlier I didn't think he'd play, but I really want to win this. So we're going to go back up to two up front. We're going to play Pellegri and Sago, and we're going to go three at the back. And this could be a mistake, but I don't think what other choice we've got, really. We have a highlight here, though, or there is a highlight in the game. It's headed... Oh, no, now we look wide open. Alisson does got the ball, luckily, but Zinchenko, we can't afford to lose it like that. Jeez, one ball over the top. Jordan Ayew, Jordan Ayew. Galini with a save. Oh, I'm regretting it already. I'm not changing it, but I'm regretting it. Galini long towards Sago. He's got time to bring it down. Bring Zinchenko into it. Zinchenko to La Celso now. Can we work one final opportunity? Zinchenko to Hansen. Pellegri. It's not the greatest of pass. Oh no, and oh no. I, I use beaten Baines to it and sent it flying wide. We need to be better around the box there. This is a disappointing draw. Unless, with 30 seconds to go, Pereira's free kick in. Here's Sago. It's another bad pass on the edge of the box. They've given it away, though. Pellegrini, there's a man over on the right. It's Zinchenko. Sago's in the box. It's Pellegrini. Oh, the goalkeeper's got it. Why why, why offer me a highlight like that? Because that's just mean. That'll be the end of the game as well. I mean, on one hand, we went down to 10 men after two minutes, and we didn't lose the game. On the other hand, it's bloody Swansea. Let's get back on it, because I'm, I'm, I'm putting that out of our system. I'm not happy with that. And we have the perfect tonic. A home tie. Bottom of the league. Oh, come on, it can't go. It can't go. It's gonna go wrong. It's gonna go wrong. A couple of things happened during the week that I probably could have shown you, but yeah, I didn't. Um, Phil Jagielka has left our coaching staff to become the new Oldham manager. Interesting. Um, Wayne Rooney is the Cardiff manager. I, I noticed as well. Maybe I'll do a video about this in in, in a couple of seasons, maybe, and just to see where every, everyone is because it's very very bizarre. Um, also. The board came to me and said, we want to give you more transfer budget with January only a month away. Oh, thank you very much. I need some defenders. Okay, I will say this now. This is a game where I don't accept anything but a win right now. Galini will be in goal. Stenzel, Sutar, Morton and Mitch is the back four. Back in there again. Uh, Caceres and Fabalix, of course, are back in there. Zinchenko keeps his place. The only man, well, three men, actually. Zinchenko, Morton and Galini keep their place in the last one. So, Rodrigo comes in on the left. Sago... Up front with Pellegri. I am, I'm not playing Gonzalez. I'm playing Sego up front with Pellegri. Because I think they work quite well together. And hopefully we'll see that again. We have to win this game. Look at these eyes. We have to win this game. They have John Obi Mikel. Why? Okay. Ryan Shawcross is there. Junior Stanislas. Uh, Duncan Watmore. Um, Salomon Rondon's up front. Which is a little bit weird. They have a regen playing behind him. Craig Henry. On loan from Celtic. I mean, he's, he's pretty good, actually, for, for a 19-year-old. Fair play. Fair play, indeed. Interesting. John Sutar is making his 100th league appearance for the club today. He's been a really, really good signing. I have a feeling I may sign defenders that are going to come in and replace him now, but, I mean, he's been brilliant, hasn't he? I feel sad about it if we do replace him, to be honest with you. Okay, here we go. Stanislas and Dong. They have a man over on the left, where Zinchenko is just not getting back, really. Rodrigo. That's a good ball. Sago now. He's got Pellegrini in the box if he can find him. It's Sago's cross. It's Pellegrini at the near post. I mean, it's gone in. I'm I'm not sure how. I'm not sure what Pellegrini does there. But it, it looked like he tried to juggle. It was a great ball by Rodrigo. Sago running the lines really, really well. Lots of space. Lots of time to pick out a cross. Near post. Pellegrini. Okay. If that was Galini doing that goalkeeping... I would actually sell him on the spot. Oh, no. <laughs> Lately, things have not been going our way, and that is, yeah. I mean, we'll stick Deadpool on. We'll play the two young strikers, but Pietro, that's not good. That is not good. Hopefully, that's not a big injury. I don't think it will be. Hopefully, it'll just be a simple knock, but whoa, that's good. That, that could be really bad. Here's Rondon and Dong. Are Sunderland going to find some confidence from that injury? John Obi Mikel to that to that regen Henry. Rondon, they're working it nicely here. Mikel to and Dong. Kone. 
What more? They are keeping the ball very, very well. They've worked it wide for Kone. Can he find a cross? They've hit the bar from the cross. If that would have gone in. If that would have gone in. And that's half time then. And although we won the up, I'm still not pleased. I feel like we're just not making enough chances. Let's stick that and be more expressive for a start. Um, and yeah, run at the defence a little bit more. The likes of Rodrigo and whatnot can get going here. We're not going to make any more changes. But things need to be better. I want to say things are going well, but you're capable of even better. Only John Souter cared because he's the only one that always cared. John Souter, John Soutar. It's like a tear in my heart more than anything when we replace him, but I don't want to talk about it. Joel's long kick then. It should be easy for Mawson. Don't mess about with it here. Mitch, see, that's good defending. That's good. Good. We've worked it out as well. Rodrigo's pass. He was looking for Sego again, but Sego wasn't quite on the same wavelength for this time, which is a little bit disappointing. And Sunderland can pass it around at the back and trying to work something that they probably should have stuck to passing around at Mitch. 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 Fellini's kick wasn't the best. Oh, dear God, what are we doing? Stanislas and Dong, this is dangerous. Sutar clears, only as far as Mikel. Kone, they've got a lot of men forward. Henry, Kone, oh, this feels so dangerous, and Dong sends it well over. Against the better teams, we're going to get punished for that stuff. Just over an hour played, um, I'm going to get Rodrigo off. He's not having a good game, actually, and Patrick Roberts can come on. And we'll swap them to a round. So, yeah, we'll play an inside forward from this side on attack and Zinchenko can play as a winger on that side he, he can do that job pretty well we, we know that we've made more shots in we've had more shots in the second half but we haven't actually made any decent chances so yeah Zinchenko's now got a bad knock and he's he's, he's got to come off this isn't good bruised ankle I mean Gonzalez can play there apparently okay all right then sure whatever 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 game See, I wouldn't say this is a convincing victory. Time's ticked right away, and it looks like we are going to win the game. But, yeah, it hasn't been good either, has it? It hasn't been good. We haven't created many opportunities. We've had 17 shots, but I feel like we haven't saw like hardly any of them. It's a 1-0 win. That's good. Pellegrini injury, though. Let's 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 see what's happened there. Oh no. No 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 no. Pietro Pellegri has torn his knee ligaments and he's out for three months. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I, no. He's gonna miss the main chunk of the season. Are you kidding me? Are you uh, Wow! Jesus! Sometimes in this game, when things are going against you, they go against you. We've just beaten Sunderland, but it felt like a loss. And now that is a big loss. I'm just... just end the episode. Okay then, so, yeah, again, not a great episode, really. I don't feel comfortable with winning 1-0 against Sunderland and struggling to that win. I don't feel comfortable with a 1-1 draw against Swansea. And I really don't feel comfortable with Pietro Pellegrini being out for three months after I signed him for how many million at the start of the season. He's had a pretty good start to the season. And now the main crush of it, he's going to be injured. I mean, game, you know where to rile me up and you, you've certainly done that here. If you like this episode, and there's something wrong with you if you did, but if, if you like this episode, then like the, like the video, subscribe to the channel, drop me a comment. You guys know the drill. Do all those things. I mean, next episode, things need to pick up because... I am feeling, feeling something and it's not good. Until then, from me to you, goodbye.